Hello, this is Dr. Micah Jazz with Be Still and Know. TV is filled with shows about restoring old houses or precious artifacts. People have great enthusiasm to return something to its original condition. This is also what God has upon his heart for each one of us, to bring us back to our original state. Whilst throughout our mortal life we wrestle with sinful thoughts, some of which in turn give rise to sinful actions, ultimately the call of the disciple is to return to that state of goodness and oneness with God that was God's original creative intention for humanity. The most difficult consequence arising from sin is the shame it induces. Each of us knows the shame and the fears we have of having what we are ashamed of exposed to public view. Shame differs from guilt in that it tells me that there is something rotten in the core of who I am. Unlike guilt, which I can address through confession and apology, shame is like a ball and chain. I must drag with me throughout my life. The feeling of shame can best be described as, I am basically flawed, inadequate, wrong, bad, unimportant, undeserving, or not good enough. Shame tells me that the behavior of others is somehow related to who I am and what I do. I create unspoken narratives within my head, and these then become the script for my actual life, my practice and my experience. Whilst I think my actions are those of an independent person, I am often only acting out of a fictional role, born of my own imagination. The majority of people I'm reacting to have no understanding of the reasons behind my behavior. It's a key reason why relationships can sour and fail. What's more, I cannot speak of the assumptions that give rise to my behavior for fear of exposing my shame and facing acute feelings of losing face in front of another. God accepts me for who I am. I can own and tell God of my shame without fear of criticism or public exposure. Those experiences that have led to my shame, criticism as a child, the experience of being bullied, manipulation of my self-esteem and the like, can all be acknowledged before God and accepted for what they are. The feelings created by them are false attempts at self-preservation. God wants to put each one of us in touch with our true emotions as one part of the lifetime process of godly restoration. The rotten is removed and replaced. I am set free. As we enter into the God space today, how do you experience shame? Does it make you angry? Do you react towards others in an attempt to manage your feelings of shame? God is committed to your godly restoration. So bring your shame to God for healing and restoration. Amen. Shame for many years made me react and strike out verbally for fear of feeling diminished or inadequate. Slowly, God has worked with me in introducing me to the person he created me to be. I'm so much more relaxed and accepting of myself and others. I feel no threat anymore. Now please do write to me, micah.jazz at premier.org.uk and we can talk through any of these issues 
and that I will write back to you personally and in confidence just as soon as I can. And do please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. Join our growing Voice of Hope family and follow along with these daily meditations at home in print or direct to your favourite mobile device. Join me this Sunday for Premier Life as well as for Be Still and Know throughout the week. However, for now, from me, Micah Jazz, it's goodbye and God bless.